It's okay if you can compress the shock or bare strut with your hands. The valving is designed to work with the weight of the vehicle and won't engage with such light force. If your new shocks utilize a stem mount, be sure to assemble the mounts in the proper order. You can refer to the shop manual to determine the correct order. When tightening, make sure there is only a slight bulge in the rubber bushings. Do not pancake the rubber bushing. Some KYB shocks will have different appearing bushings than the original equipment. These bushings have been designed specifically by KYB to perform as well or better than the original design. Some KYB strut or shock shafts may appear shorter than the original unit. This is due to KYB's sometime use of internal rebound springs. Use of internal rebound springs has been found to improve handling when cornering. Never grip the shaft with any kind of tool, especially pliers or vice grips. This can damage the shaft and cause the seal to leak prematurely. Even microscopic imperfections will cause the seal to wear prematurely. Instead, use the correct tool to hold the shaft in place. It's extremely important to have the axle supported and at the proper height when installing rear shocks. Overextending the shocks during installation can cause major damage when the vehicle is lowered to the ground. This applies to all vehicles, but it's especially important on older or vintage vehicles. Start the shock nuts or bolts by hand. Tighten them with a ratchet or wrench just enough to hold the unit in place. Don't use an air ratchet or an impact wrench, as you could over tighten the mount or damage the threads. Lower the vehicle to the ground and use a torque wrench to tighten all nuts and bolts to the proper torque specifications. The suspension must be loaded in order to get the correct torque. Always take the vehicle for a test drive after installing new suspension components. This will ensure that the springs have settled to their correct ride height and that there are no noises or immediate issues with the installation. Then retorque the bolts after the test drive. Finally, perform a four wheel alignment after installing new suspension components. Want to learn more? We've got you covered. Visit kyb.com.